everybody! So I have decided to do a video challenge and I'm going to call this the Beauty Inside and Out Challenge. There will be a series of videos, maybe five or six, and in each video I will do a challenge that is outside beauty and a challenge that is inside beauty. Obviously there will not be a winner for this challenge because it would defeat the purpose. So. Although I do want you to send these videos to your friends, and I want your friends to send it to their friends, so on and so forth, and just really get these challenges out there, because I think they are really, really important. Especially, like, with all of the stuff going on of the bullying at schools that are making teenagers so depressed that they are committing suicide, which really, really, really hurts me, because it's just... It's so bad. It, nobody should have to go through a pain like bullying because emotional pain and emotional abuse is probably one of the worst forms of abuse besides physical abuse. And it's, it's really, really sad. So this is going to try to, for guys and girls, to just do a kind of, I don't know, like a kind of confidence type of challenge, confidence course that I'm going to be doing because even though I don't have the biggest self-esteem, I still have a pretty good self-esteem and I think it's really important for everybody to have. Everybody should know that they're beautiful and smart and hardworking. Everybody should know these things about themselves that they can do whatever they put their mind to and everybody is beautiful in their own way and it's really really important that everybody knows that beauty there's no definition for beauty everybody is beautiful no matter what your race your sex religion anything like whether you have mental handicaps physical handicaps it doesn't matter everybody is beautiful everyone no matter what and I really 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 it's my goal through these challenges to really get rid of judging people and stereotyping people and I mean yes sometimes judging people especially if you live in the city it's it might be very important to judge a person but it's not right it's I guess if you feel like you're in a dangerous situation then, you know, maybe get yourself out of that situation, but not everybody is bad based on the typical things that we think people are bad for. Especially, I just, I don't know. It's not right. So I really want to break down those barriers. The Inside Beauty Challenge this week is going to be going up to somebody in either your workplace or your school or just maybe in the mall on the street that you see and complimenting something that's on their outfit because we all know how good it feels to hear a compliment from someone especially when we don't know that person because then you know that the person isn't just saying it to just say it they really mean it and a heartfelt com compliment is such a self-esteem booster it really really is and for our outside beauty challenge this week Hmm, what should I do? Maybe, so, the next time that you go into work, if you're watching this on the weekend, that'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whichever day you're going into work, I want you to wear something special if you're a guy or a girl, and if you're a girl or a guy, if you want to, <laughs> if, if you're a guy and you want to wear makeup, then go ahead, go for it. Do your makeup, wear something that makes you feel great that makes you feel like just amazing you know that you really feel comfortable in and you look good in because when you look good you feel good and when you feel good your confidence is up and studies have shown that when your confidence is up and your head is held high you're less likely to be picked on or to be picked up as somebody who is easy to manipulate and you know get into a bad situation with like being kidnapped or something bad happening which is really important also why to have self-esteem because 
if you're walking around and your head's down, it kind of means that you have low self-esteem, you have your shoulders hunched over, and you look like easy prey to a lot of people, and that's how people can get kidnapped and other bad things can happen to them. So I don't want that to happen to anybody, so maybe this will help. Just, you know, hold your head high and be proud of who you are. Embrace your body. And really, if you have curves, great. Great. Curves are amazing. Every woman should have curves. If you're skinny, that's good too. You know, that's like the end thing is to be skinny and be really petite and small. Any body shape that you have, any body shape, it's beautiful. And you should know that. So these are my challenges is to... Wear something that makes you feel amazing and to go up to somebody random and compliment something on your outfit that you really, really mean and you truly mean it because you'll also feel good too. I love doing it. It just feels good. So I hope you like these challenges and please send them on to other people because I really want this to get out so that we can try to make a difference. I'm just trying to make a change. And I know tons of people are doing it. There's like Tyra on talk shows. Glee had that new episode where Mercedes sang in front of the entire gym, You're Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Actually, I think it's just called Beautiful. And, I mean, tons and tons and tons of people are doing this. And I'm just trying to join them and get the word out about this. So please help me send this around to anybody. Post it on your Facebook page. Post it anywhere. I just want the word to get out. Thank you guys.